five best dub plates you have in your box? These are the questions that I really find very corny. Corny ass questions. Like, oh, what's your favorite songs in the box? Oh, what's your best song? And, but you know what? <laughs> it's Jimmy Smith, fam. It's a different scenario. So we have to say, you know what, fam? Really, five best dubs in your box. And if you, if you can't name five, not because you can't name because there's not five, it's because there's so much. You could just say, you know what? I've got the one bad one or two bad one or three bad one. We don't have to really break it down like that. But My five favorite have? would be um, Vice Versa Love, um, the Dennis Brown on the party time rhythm, stay at the studio one party time. Um, favorite dubs. Um, baby wheel on the sling thing. Um, there's more. I just think I, <laughs> I'm trying to think. You know, um, there's never really a top five. Is it? It's so hard. I have a um. I have my brother Shane who sung. Um, Who's actually a Grammy winning producer now? He produced on um, Shaggy's album. Okay. Sting. But he also is a part of King Shy. I had him sing Sea of Love for me, um, mm -hmm. sing it over. Um, that's probably one of my favorite dubs. I, I mean, I've used it in tear down clashes. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, I don't have it cut in no clashing way. I have it cut in the singing love format. And so you're five. Let's let's break it down. You're five. So was we've that got five. I think we got to three in it. I think that was four. That was was it four? Let's 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 re, re, recap it back again now. So we got it's, it's the Dennis Brown on a party time rhythm. Dennis Brown, Barrington Levy, vice versa love. Dennis Brown, uh, Barrington Levy. Um, Baby Wayne on a sling team. Baby Wayne, the she and who song. Um, Shane, you got one sea more. Sea of love, fam. and uh, <laughs> you got one more in it. And I swear, if Probably. this man does not say the song that I'm expecting to say, I can't believe this, man. Probably. No, I'm just thinking the songs that I just love to play. <laughs> Probably, you know, I have a Buju on the Shankai Shank. Whoa. I was waiting for the Buju. Show That's off cool. Bring Disgrace. That's cool. That, that dub is so... I was waiting for the Gregory Isaac. Hard drugs? Hard drugs. It's not That's in what there. I'm okay. <laughs> like hard drugs have made me win so many clashes. I think I won literally one, three clashes with hard drugs. Like I'm saying, I'm to leave. Gregory Isaac. It's like, because it's not a dub that a lot of people have, mm. you know. Um, or they have it on other rhythms and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's, you know, that's, I got my five or six stuff. Like, those are some of my it's favorite. Up there, man. You know. Up there. Yeah. That's some of my favorite. So, there's no King Shine. King Shine is not even relevant. They're nowhere to be seen. But there's a guy by the name of Jimmy Spliff doing his thing. He's trying hard. He's putting it out there right about now. People are seeing you, but there's no King Shine. You got your mobile phone. That phone rings and it's a sound system. Can you tell me the sound system who would call you and say, Yo, brother, see what you're going with right now, you know? Moi, you come and play my sound. Remember, there's no King Shine. What is the sound system that would excite you the most to know that your knowledge, talent, situation, current climate to be like, you know what? Mm. If me did I play that song there, it's gonna be a problem. Pro the, I would I have a brethren with a song. And like how you said, if 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 I wasn't playing King Shine, the only other sound I could see myself like that with is I have a brethren named Magic. He had a song named Soldier One from Bermuda. Yeah. Bad song. Bad song. <laughs> Bad song. And magic is my brethren. Like mm -hmm.
to how I see him, me and him, the, the visions that we have that we love music the same way, the way how I see he love his sound, even up to today, like, that would be probably a sound that I would check for, like, like, yeah, I would, that's, that would, that's, that, I could, that's probably the only other sound in this world that I would be like, yeah, like, I could play that sound. Mm-hmm. Cause I could think I I could also see in him seeing my vision to say, and be like you know what I'll let you deal with this 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 and this you know what I mean but yeah that's that's probably other than that it would be probably none because it's like it's my favorite sound ever is Jara of course but to what's been done with Jara I could never come in. Mm-hmm. Do any like like that's why I don't envy Kingpin. Big up Kingpin. I'm a brethren, like everybody mm-hmm. knowing. I but I tell him all the time. I don't envy the job you have to please a ready made fan base. That yeah. is people are, that's hard to do. Like because you know mm-hmm. they so fickle. You know, <clears throat> like at least the fan base that I have now, I built it. So it's like I kind of know, you know, what they want and what they don't want. You know, because I can see how they respond to when I lose this way, and I can see when they respond to when I win this way, or when I win this way, or lose. So, I kind of control, you know, the narrative of what my sound. But when you join a sound like that, you don't control they whatever they feel like that day. You got to try to figure it out and work with it. So I definitely don't envy the guys that join the um the sounds with the ready made. People think, oh, it's ready made. You can get certain forwards, which is true. But then also you got to, there's less room for creativity. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Less room for growth because the sound has already been peaked. So it's only but so high. You can 100%. Take, you know what I mean? It's a glass ceiling that's there, you know. I think we're going to try and wrap it up right now because I, I honestly believe that when I get real generals and when I really look like looking in the future and see that certain people have such a vision, like we're going to go into 2020, Talk to me in 2022, man. 2023. Yeah, trust me. We're going to be here doing our thing. Thank you so much for taking the time out, King Shine. Jimmy, um, it's an honor, man. Like I, yeah, uh, definitely, we, we, definitely. Not only me, but a lot of people have been seeing your path. There's a lot of things that we could have talked about. There's a lot of controversial stuff that we could have gone into yeah, 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 where, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? The numbers on the YouTube channel could have gone up crazy. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? We could have called out sounds. Yeah. We could have gone down a certain lane, but... It was a mad thing to have you up inside the building and then the pre-talk and the pre-conversations to have. Definitely. But like I said, thank you so much for taking the time out. Definitely. I know that you got a mad, mad, mad weekend. It's next seven yeah, days, next, 14 yeah, days next, next or so. Days. Yeah, the, you, you're doing your thing right about now. So I, do, I just want to end the thing by just saying once again, thank you, respect. And I just want to hand Definitely. the table over to you, the microphone over to you. <laughs> And just, you know what, just just credit where credit's due and big up who you want to big up. Moan first, definitely big up. Because I have to big up, brother, because he's a youth where you have your own opinion, you stick to it. It don't matter really what other people, I've seen you say negative stuff about me, positive stuff about me, negative stuff about people you like, positive stuff about people you like, and also... You're not pig-headed. You're not, you can be convinced to say, you know what? I saw it this way, but I can see it this way. So I'm for that. And that's, that's what I call just being, you know, non-partial. You got to sometimes just see things for what they are. And I have to big you up for that. And also, you know, for this platform that you give. A lot of selectors don't realize it. Take advantage of these platforms, man. Take advantage of these platforms, these social media platforms. Take advantage of them each person help each other like if if salman is not willing to do this then he has nobody to interview but if he has people to interview people are gonna come to watch it trust me they want to know who we are y'all think y'all being secretive and you think you're hiding we still know your business anyway because it's just the way the world is so don't think we don't know we know everything we know about the two baby mothers here the one over there we know about everything just come come take an interview and talk about this on man like yo, this is these are the platforms, you know. Big up the whole King Shine family. Everybody know who already. We don't have to individually chop it up, and you know what I mean. Because then if people feel left out, big up the whole King Shine team, you know what I mean. Big up the whole New Jersey, because you know, unless I'm a barn and you know, 
a lot of people like to give me credit for uprising back jersey you know and i'll be like what and they like yo your company scene i make every month i just step up the gear when i say well hopefully somebody come on the scene and make me have to step up my gear you know what i mean because if that's what i if people could look at it like that and think that's what i did for the local i hope it's somebody that could come and 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 like people put over me people put him over me and make me have to step up my game because my game is gonna be always you know you always want to be challenged man and that's that's pretty much it bro and you know pick up all the fans them all the fans that's that's really that's what i'm about pick up the song my name and everything but it ain't about y'all it's the fans i love the fans big up the whole uk the love here is ridiculous you know what i mean the love here is ridiculous so you know pick up the fans man pick up the world and everything you know you know how that go already <laughs>